What's going on, everybody? It's time for another Vox Verdict. I'm joined by Jess and Tvon, and today we're talking about Lithuania, who have brought back The Roop, which was one of the bands that had a tremendous success from 2020. Although Eurovision didn't actually happen last year, their song was one of the favorites to win, and this year they're bringing us to the discotheque. We're going to be talking about what we feel about the song, as well as how we feel it might be performing at Eurovision. So, let's get to it. So the Roop was one of the bands that actually had to compete again in a national selection to be selected for Rotterdam 2021. And I think based on the result that we saw, there was really no need to have the competition at all because they killed the public vote. It was, I think, twice as big as last year, which was record-breaking already. Some, somewhere around like 70,000 votes, I believe? Yeah, like 77,000, I think. Yeah, so the, the choice was pretty clear from the get-go. Um, let's talk about Discotech. Uh, I'll start with you, Twine. How do you feel about this song this year? Last year, I was definitely in the minority. I didn't like On Fire at all. However, I think Lithuania is the country that surprised me the most this year because I really, really, really like the Discotech. At first, I wasn't a huge fan. But then slowly, slowly and slowly, I started listening to it more and more. And now I really, really like it. I, I'm curious, do you, what, what, why do you think this time around you've grown, you, you've grown attached to this song more than last year? I don't know. I have no idea because it's <laughs> kind of in the same, it's kind of in the same genre, but like it's completely different as well. So I don't, maybe it's just catcher for me. I don't, I don't really particularly know. Fair enough. Um, obviously, this was a song that had, uh, you know, being uh, a favorite from the previous year, they had big shoes to fill. And it seems like for most people, they have at least lived up to that. Obviously, you know, some people are always going to like the song from the previous year more than what they brought this time around. Um, but it definitely, you know, it, it's retained its, in, its success in many ways. Uh, Jess, is this a song that you're liking as well? It is. And I kind of would have to second what Twan said wasn't a massive fan of their 2020 song, but um, I'm really liking Discotech quite a lot. It's just, you know, I just love the fact that it's this kind of fun, happy, upbeat disco song that kind of makes you want to dance. And then you have the roof that kind of have these, these big personalities on stage, like these kind of quirky kind of characteristics and they kind of really <clears throat> make the song better in my opinion. Like the mm. song on its own is one thing, then you have people to kind of pull this type of song off. And I don't know, I think it's just the whole package that just kind of, that I just love and that kind of speaks to me in a way and makes mm. me want to dance. Although I can't do their dance moves yet, but <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> The, well, last year's moves were were pretty in, like uh, intricate, and this year's are are quite a bit more complex. I would say there's there's a lot going on. There's the, the this move, and then doing a little bit of this, and it's one one that I think takes a, a little bit of practice to do. Um, but certainly, like this this entry is not going to get confused with anyone else. They've they've been able to bring back the quirkiness from on fire, um, but still give it a bit of a different soundscape. Which you know maybe maybe that's uh, one of the reasons why. Uh, uh, both of you are liking it more because this is a it's 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 not totally different from on fire it retains certain elements but uh it it definitely doesn't feel like they just just took all the same instruments and rearranged them you know and we obviously this year some songs are going to be feel, feeling more like a, a rehash of the previous year so maybe some people do feel like this is tapping a little bit too much into on fire um as for me i i do really like this song um I think that one thing that's interesting about this is it's almost a little bit sexier, you know, because it's there's there's kind of a, a seductiveness to to uh, uh, Vidas's voice. I, I I might be getting his name wrong, but um, I don't know. That's one of the things that that struck me. And on fire was more about like embracing. Uh, who you are despite not fitting a certain box like you know in when we're talking about the music industry there there are ideas about what makes a, a successful person um and and this is just a little bit different and and i think it, it works better overall um now it should be said that 
this because it was uh, a song that was thought of as a potential winner for for 2020. Um, this time around, it seems like that has that status has been retained in some way. But I'm curious if we agree with that. Um, Tvon, going back to you, how do you feel about this song as a potential winner? To be honest, last year I didn't think of the song as a potential winner, uh, despite not liking it. I just didn't really get winner vibes. This year, I am not sure. I don't think it's going to be the winner, but I definitely think it's got top five, maybe top three potential. If it's got good staging, which it probably will have, because we know the roof. We've seen it in the national final. It's just really good. Yeah, and, and with regards to staging, there's certainly a lot of things that jump out at you. Not only the dance moves, but uh, their their costumes, the lighting, the quirkiness of it all, um, their expressions as well, I, I think uh, are, it, like it just embodies the, the feeling of the song quite well. Um, Jess, do you see this as, as a winner like some other people do? Uh, no, I don't see it as a winner, but like Twan, I do see it as a potential top five. And I think in particular this song, I see it would appeal more to the televoters and the juries and they're just kind of the average public are going to love this kind of fun, bright, colourful, quirky song and I think that will really help them. But um, for me, not a winner. Yeah, and I'm gonna gonna agree with both of you because uh, even with On Fire, I did have my reservations about it winning because I did feel like the the quirkiness might rub people off in the wrong way. And you know, some of the people in in Canada that I showed it to, it definitely had its fans, but there were also some other people who were like, "This is a little bit too weird for me." Um, but nonetheless, let's say if it did win, then I would be really happy about that because it would be Lithuania's first win. And thinking about recent uh, Lithuanian songs, in my opinion, this is the best one that they sent in a long time uh how, i don't know how you guys feel about that is, is this is this uh one of your favorites uh jess it's not my actual favorite but it's one of my favorites and okay. if they won i wouldn't be mad and i'd be happy to visit lithuania so why yeah, how not? about you how about you Twan? i'm gonna agree with jess yeah i think my favorite should would be 2018 but that's unbeatable for me Fair enough. I, I do think I should probably look a little bit further back because obviously I, I've only seen, you know, maybe the last 15 years of, of Lithuanian entries. Um, but with that in mind, I would say that this is definitely one of my favorites. So now let's bring together the verdicts for all of us. Uh, beginning with you, Tvan, what reaction are you going to give Discotech? I am going to give it a very like, like, a happy face. And I'm leaning more towards love because I'm, um, it's still growing on me. I, I still really like it. Okay, Jess. So I'm going to give this just uh, a regular happy smiley face because I like it, but don't love it. Okay, and uh, this time I'm I'm totally agreeing with you guys. Uh, it, it's a happy face for me. Um, you know, I, I did also just say that it was uh, one of my favorite Lithuani Lithuanian entries uh, of recent memory, but. Um, I also agree with you, Tuan, in the sense that I could see myself liking it a little bit more, just depending on how how it looks amongst the rest of the entries. For now, it's a like, but maybe it will be a love a little bit later. And now let's see what the rest of Team Eurovox said. Um, so beginning at the lower end, we don't have any sad faces. So, I mean, I, I think with, with most songs, we, we tend to see at, at least a few, but in this case, none. Um, and there's only one uh, scratchy face, so someone who's not really sure how to, th how to feel about it or thinks that it could be a little bit better. Um, only three people with the neutral face as well, so definitely leaning towards the more liked end of the spectrum. Uh, we've got 11 happy faces, 11 people who like it. We've got seven people with heart eyes, people who are loving it. And it's got nine fuegos, which is definitely uh, one of the, the higher numbers that we've seen. Definitely not the highest that we've seen for, for fuegos, but uh, certainly a, a well-liked song when it comes to Team Eurovox. And uh, now we'd like to know what you guys think. What reaction would you give to Lithuania this year, the Roop and Discotech? Uh, we'd love to know what you think. Where does this land in terms of your top entries? Um, and which are your your favorites for this year. Be sure to subscribe to Eurovox because we're going to be discussing all of the entries for Eurovision 2021 and we'd love to know what you think. Until next time, we will see you then. Take care.